Mom explains why she makes her son wear a leash and backpack. The loving mom took to Facebook to call out all the Karens and Susans who've made mom shaming a sport and penned a heartfelt explanation on why she has to use the leash with the toddler. Rachel Butcher has been on the receiving end of mom shaming one too many times. People who don't have the faintest clue about her extremely difficult journey to parenthood and personal struggles feel it well within their rights to throw her disapproving looks when they see her using a backpack leash with her adopted son. After one such incident last year left her in tears, the loving mom took to Facebook to call out the Karens and Susans who've made mom shaming a sport and penned a heartfelt explanation of why she has to use the leash with the toddler. Today was hard. Even as I start to write this now, I'm crying and clouded in shame and embarrassment. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but as I said, today was hard, Butcher began. Our family and friends know our son is adopted, and they also know he was born drug addicted. He has more energy and speed than your average 21-month-old. Aside from his already rough beginning of drug exposure, we know little to nothing about his bio family and his genetics, so he could be more hyper just from experiences that I don't know of. All that being said, the Karens and Susans of the world don't know that about my child or my ability to parent him, she continued. I have a backpack leash for my son. Ten years ago, walking around Disney World, I laughed and cringed at the sight of children on leashes. How can they not control their child? I'll never let my child behave that way. Yes, I was Karen then. But let's be real. Every parent has said that line once or twice before they had children and ate crow years later, Butcher admitted. My child runs faster than me. Due to scar tissue from my hysterectomy, I have trouble running sometimes to keep up with him. Let it also be known I religiously ran races and ran every day before my surgery. So it's not laziness, she explained. My child also hates to be confined, whether it's a car seat, high chair, stroller, or shocker, a shopping cart. I use shipped more often than I should because it's incredibly hard to go out with him alone sometimes. But guess what? Life doesn't always work that way, and we have to go out and get things done. I've come home crying because I've left stores before finishing shopping because he's having a meltdown. I also got these snide comments and nasty looks then, too, she revealed. But today, today was worse. We went to Target, and he wore his backpack, and he did amazing. He was happy, laughing, smiling, and yes, running, but he was close to me. The looks and side eye I got from no less than five Karens made me grab my two items and leave. I don't know why women feel the need to judge and mom shame so often. What works for your child doesn't necessarily work for mine. I'm glad your little Lucy is perfect and never has meltdowns. My child isn't talking yet, and we have a communication barrier. He attends occupational and speech therapy, and he's thriving. He's such a happy, beautiful little boy with a lot of energy, Butcher shared. I'm not writing this for pity or sympathy, but more of a public service announcement to kids with leashes. My son does not have a disability. He's a runner. My neighbors know he's a runner, so much so that they chase after him too. It takes a village to raise a kid, and my village rocks.